world is today waking to the tragic news that last night at 10.33pm an explosion rocked through the Manchester Arena just minutes after the end of an Ariana Grande concert. Now confirmed by the British Home Secretary, this was a terror attack by what is believed to be a suicide bomber with an IED or improvised explosive device. As of 8am this morning, the death toll has climbed from 19 to 22, some of whom have been confirmed as children. 59 people have also been injured and are now being treated across several hospitals in Manchester. This cowardly act seemed to have been designed to cause maximum casualties, apparently being detonated in a foyer area to catch parents, grandparents and children as they left the concert. This is Britain's worst terrorist attack since the July 7th bombings in 2005. A series of coordinated suicide bomb attacks across London, resulting in 52 people killed and over 700 injured. Manchester Arena is one of the biggest venues in the UK and last night held more than 22,000 concert goers. The area has now of course been cordoned off as a crime scene. The British Prime Minister Theresa May is convening an emergency COBRA meeting this morning. COBRA stands for Cabinet Office Briefing Room A and is usually convened to plan government responses in times of emergency. Numerous police forces, government bodies and intelligence agencies are now working together in a massive investigation following this tragedy. The London Metropolitan Police have said there will be more police on the capital streets today as the country is obviously now on high alert. The concert itself was attended by families from across the country. There is little doubt the terrorists knew there would be a large number of children there as they carried out this despicable and heartbreaking act. One eyewitness, a mother who had taken her daughter to the concert, said that if Ariana Grande had not come back on stage to sing another song and overrun by a few minutes, the result could have been even worse. Ariana Grande has, at the moment, called off the rest of her world tour and several high-profile celebrities have been tweeting messages of condolence and heartbreak on social media. Unbelievably, some sick individuals are sending fake tweets saying they or someone they know was there, apparently in order to get more retweets on Twitter. What goes through these people's heads is a mystery to me and to any decent person. Let's hope there are some repercussions. As the UK and indeed the world wait to this tragic news, our hearts go out to the victims and all of those affected by this truly awful situation. As for those involved in this murderous and cowardly act, I have only one message for you. May you burn in hell forever. <laughs>